much healthy. You know, Barasa got a little bit of a, maybe a twisted knee there, but other than that, we got out of there healthy. And, uh, you know, for the first day of pads, I uh, saw a lot of encouraging things. Uh, and now we just got to continue to focus on getting better every day. And that's the thing we got to get corrected on defense, you know, and uh, you know, penalties. It's the first time we've had the referees out here. And uh, I told them to call it if, if they see it close because we got to get it right before we get in those games. So some alignment issues with young guys and holding, you know, by those guys. But that's all correctable things, and that's what we got them out here for. What did you learn, or what can you learn now with the pads on that you didn't know and just helmets and shells? Well, sometimes, you know, you get all excited about guys in shorts because, you know, they're, they look really good. And then all of a sudden, when it comes time to put some pads on somebody or tackle somebody, and, and things change. You know, some guys are kind of like those combine guys. They look good, and then all of a sudden you get them out here and they won't hit anybody. Or if they've been in there for about 20 plays, they get tired of hitting. So find out a little bit more about their character. Playing under the lights, Monday night football overall. It's something a little new here, but the, the fans came out. I'm sure you're happy with that. Our night. fans are awesome, you know. And, uh, you know, this community and this valley, uh, uh, you know, we're in this together, and uh, we're going to do it together, and they're behind us, and they understand that uh, we're not happy with the way things are, and, and we're doing everything we can to uh, get this thing back to where it needs to be. And, you know, it's not going to be an overnight process. Everybody gets excited, but at the end of the day, it's going to take some work, and, uh, you know, we're going to work on it every day, though. I can show you that. What were some specifics that impressed you tonight? Oh, you know, those running backs are good. You know, uh, Konetsky had a good throw. Hess had a good throw. Dominic Barnes, I mean, you know, for this early on in, in fall camp for our offense to be able to do some of the things that they were able to do tonight, uh, that tells you that we've, we've worked, we've done some good things over the course of the summer. We've gotten better, and uh, it's encouraging. Coach, what do you have to improve on? What are some of the things you know you got to work on going forward here? You know, I'd like to see us obviously do a little bit better on defense, you know, especially this early on. You know, I kind of put the handcuffs on the defense a little bit. Uh, as far as not wanting to necessarily pressure every play because I wanted to really test our secondary and see where we're at with those guys. I want to have an idea of who our four best corners are, who our four best safeties are. And if you're dependent all the time on pressuring people, then the offense doesn't have a chance to get the ball, so you don't get a chance to evaluate those guys when the ball's in the air. Is this when you really find out what kind of team you have when you guys start to hit? No question. You know, because it's, it's fine today. We'll find out about practice 17, 18 when they got to push themselves through it. But, uh, I got a good feeling about this group. They're, you know, this is a hungry team. I can assure you that this is a hungry football team. Were you happy with the intensity you coach tonight, guys yeah. hitting guys the way they should? Yeah, well, it's, it's a good thing when I don't have to yell too much, you know. And uh, they, they're getting the hang of it. You know, still got some new guys don't understand yet, but uh, that's why we're here coaching.